What up, world? It's your woman, Butterfly. Okay, y'all. Uh, I know I look different. I'm on my computer. So, uh, quality's looking kind of fuzzy, but it's okay. It's cool. Y'all can still see me. And y'all can still hear me, right? Okay, good. Um, Today, I want to talk about something. Hold on. Okay, how's that? <laughs> I was looking kind of short. I'm short, but I don't, I want to look tall on camera. <laughs> okay, anyway, y'all, today, I, before I talk about anything else, all right, I need to tell y'all about this series. Okay. Y'all, when they see us on Netflix... Okay, if you haven't seen it, you need to stop what you're doing, get off social media, come in the house, okay, find some Netflix, all right, if you don't have Netflix, go to somebody's house and watch some Netflix or sign up for the free trial or get off work and watch this movie, okay, well, this series, it's a series, but it felt like I was watching a movie, I'm, I guess that's how Netflix works. I, I don't know. I don't really watch Netflix a lot. There's a lot of garbage on there from what I see. But I don't even watch movies a lot. I feel like it's a waste of my time. It's two hours of hallucination. But when some it like a movie really has to stand out for me to for me to watch it. Okay. And what stood out about this movie was I, I came across it on on on, on Facebook. I, and um what stood out about it for me, is that it was a true story. Um, usually when there's a movie that's a true story, I'll watch it because I like to see somebody's story. And this movie definitely tells someone's story. And um, I just really think that, especially if you have sons, you should watch it and you should, you should, you should let them watch it too. Um, it's very powerful and... Um, I don't care if you're the biggest, hardest. I don't care if you're the thug of the year. Okay. You are going to cry when you see this movie. Okay. If you don't cry, you're going to cry on the inside. All right. If you don't cry on the inside, you're going to go outside. You're going to cry in the car. Okay. Because it's very, very sad what happened to these kids. Um, It's really sad what happened to these kids. Uh, I don't want to tell the movie, but I mean, the story is... Some kids being falsely accused of a crime they didn't commit and um, spending time in, in, in jail for it, all right? And there's one of the boys who is set apart from the other ones because he was he was 16, so he was being charged as an adult, and he didn't go to juvenile. He went to prison, okay? And for all you little kids out there, that's doing bad things. Okay, that's not going to school. Okay. Now, now this this what made it so heart wrenching is that he was there and he didn't do it. Okay. But if you out there and you are doing bad things, you need to watch that movie. Okay, because because that movie will show you what it's, what it's like to be in prison. It's not a game. Nobody's gonna protect you. Even the guards are scared of the inmates in prison because the inmates have turned into animals they're like they're not even like people they're like animals wild animals okay and if you come up in there and you young or you short or you uh overweight or you or you if you even have a soft body part they gonna rape you because they haven't seen a woman in years so you look like a woman to them i'm telling you it's really bad, okay? Please watch this movie. All right, you will not be able to stop watching it. it will, it's just so sad what happened. It's so sad. Like when I think about the movie, I'm so disturbed. I'm so I just I just cry. You know what? You know uh that one lady. I don't know her. I don't know what her name is. The one that's getting all the backlash. The one that put the boys in prison and in jail. If I was her boss and I saw that, I would have walked up to her and be like, you need to pack your stuff. You fired. 
Okay, because you've been here smiling all day, smiling all this damn time like you didn't do this to these kids. Okay, I cannot have somebody like that in my presence, not at work. You fire. I don't care what you got going on in life. Okay, matter if I was a judge, I would send her to prison for five years just so she could see what she did to somebody. Yo, y'all, that movie. You need to watch it. Okay, please make sure you watch that movie. I want to bring awareness to this movie because it's really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, it make you not even want to have a son in this country. <laughs> if I do, he's not going nowhere. Like, you going to the playground. No, you're not. You're not. You got a playground in the house. You ain't going nowhere. Nope. You're not going nowhere until we move to Jamaica. <laughs> okay? Because, <laughs> uh, they just, they just did whatever to him. And took their lives away from them. So, yeah, it's like, Okay, just make sure you're going to school and coming back. You know, all this extra stuff, the partying, the smoking, the drinking. It's like, these kids wasn't even doing that. They were just hanging out. And they got caught up like some animals in some bull crap. So please watch this movie, y'all, so that you I'm about to watch it again. So that you can see um, somebody's story. Because it's a true story. My heart hurts so bad for them boys. I'm crying for my, my my son. And my son is still an egg. Like, I just... I mean, really, daughters too. Because these police are out here harassing all these kids. And and the DA, the, the, the justice system is such a joke. I know for a fact that it's a joke. Okay, they, they when they have a little bit of evidence, they, they, they just want to take that and just, just do whatever to people's lives. They they don't be knowing all the time. They don't they don't they, they will do something like that. <laughs> okay, they will try to try to try to make the story worse than what it was, or make make whoever they caught the worst person in the whole situation. Like man, they be trying to pin people. They really do. Don't even have the right suspect. It's crazy. It's so crazy. But um, please watch this movie, y'all. Okay. I'll see y'all in the next episode of The Butterfly Show. Bye.